you guys i'm in my new classroom and i just want to show you what it looks like but let me show you how full my wagon is this thing is so full so i have some clear crates i have my bookcase and then just lots of stuff um so i need to unload all of this but i want to show you what it looks like so i came in here yesterday let me turn the lights on and basically i found out that the teacher who had this classroom she was an english teacher because this is the english building but she ended up switching over to be an art teacher so she's moving to the art building so a lot of her stuff is still in here that they're supposed to move to the other building so i'm still kind of waiting for them to get rid of a lot of stuff in here but let me show you so this is where you walk in this is a window that is covered which is kind of nice um, there's a hallway down here which echoes so bad like I dropped a pencil the other day and you could hear it all the way down the hall <laughs> but this is what it looks like it is so exciting so they are going to be taking all of this stuff out this is I guess this goes to the library trash bags and then I don't know if this is going to the teacher or what's going on with that but this is also hers so they are going to be moving this to her new classroom in the new building but a majority of the desks had the plexiglass already and the principal said that I can decide whether I want to use them or not because we don't know what's going on with COVID for next year but this is what it looks like right here everyone in our district gets these giant TVs and they're on wheels like they're literally so big like i'm standing up right now and um these are like touch screen tvs i guess so i guess they're trying to get rid of the smart boards and then we have tvs instead so we can use that as a touch screen but i have a projector and this is the projector i had at my first school where it's right up against the whiteboard so there's no smart board on top that's covering it which i love because i can have so much space here to write on and I just love whiteboard space, but there's a table here that I don't know if I'm gonna keep. I have to figure out what I wanna do with it. And then this is my desk area. You can see I've already brought in kind of a lot of stuff yesterday. So I have to figure out what to do with it because I don't have any storage since I don't have a cabinet, but they are going to order me one. So I'll probably have one like in December or something. So I just stacked all my stuff on here. I'm assuming that these are standing desks I don't know how they work, but it looks like one side flips open. I don't know why, but I have to kind of figure out what they are and how to work with them more. This was a random chair, like a patient's patient chair or something, like at a doctor's office. And it was over by my desk, so I just moved it over here. But this is my area. I have a book case over here. It's missing some metal brackets, so I have to um, get some metal brackets to fix that. But I have windows, and if I open them up... I can see like the pool, I can see cars driving in, and then the other side too. And I like the shades, how they're actual shades. So, this car going away, but those are my windows. And yeah, this is what it looks like. So this is an older TV that they said they're gonna get rid of since we got the newer one that rolls around. Um, I don't know when, but they said that they're trying to get rid of those and then these are all my desks they are different from my other my other school these ones are black chairs which is kind of cool the other ones are more like a pink and then the desks the tabletops are wood which is exciting because the other one was gray and this actually matches my theme better like my classroom theme but there are so many desks you guys like so many i have to figure out how i want to set them up because it's really overwhelming with all of the desks kind of just squished together that's how it was when i came in i don't know how i want to set everything up and there's four more desks here and then i got some more chairs but i don't know what i want to do with the desk setup for those so i have to figure out what i want to do um over in the corner over here I have some tall bookcases that were left behind from the other teachers. So these are like school property bookcases, but they're actually her books. And I was told that she didn't want them anymore since she's not an English teacher. And there's so many good books here, you guys, <laughs> like so many good books. Um, yeah, just a lot, lots of divergent. So I get to keep all these books, which is kind of cool to add to my class library. And then 
paint's coming off, but I could just cover that really, really easily. But yeah, so I got two bookcases here, full of books, and then bulletin board space. I do have less than my other school, so there's two small ones here, which I might turn into just one big one. I haven't decided yet. Um, I also don't know if I'm going to do class numbers or anything, so I could have, like, class numbers over here and then, like, some kind of incentive reward board over here or something. I don't really know yet. <laughs> like I said, I'm overwhelmed with everything. But I have one board in the back. I have one right there. And then those two that I just showed you. So that's all I have for bulletin board space. So it's a lot less bulletin board space than I had at my other school, which is nice because I remember trying to fill up the bulletin boards and I had to continuously make so many borders if you remember. I spent so much time making borders just to fill them up. So this time I don't have to do that. However, however, I was expecting more bulletin boards just because I'm used to having so many and I don't like having that many just because like I said I don't know what else to put on there. I could put student work, I could put this and that, but in the end like it's like never ending. So it's nicer to have less, but I ended up buying a lot of bulletin board paper and borders and lots of different colors and like themes and designs, I guess. Um, so I have a lot and I'm not going to end up using, honestly, probably not even half of it. I have to decide which one I want to use. I'll show you the ones I got in another haul video and then you can kind of like help me decide because I, I'm so overwhelmed, you guys. Um, I know that once I get all of the desks in their correct places, it will be better. I just feel like everything is so cluttered right now, and since I don't have a cabinet, it's like, where do I put my stuff? I just have to stack everything on shelves and on the floor and on tables. Um, but I am here to drop off some more stuff. Since I don't have a cabinet, I am going to be getting some bookcases that I have in my classroom, which is one that I brought today. And I have another one, it just wouldn't, like both of them wouldn't fit in my car. So I'm going to bring the other one tomorrow, but it's just this black one. And then I figure I could just put like buckets on it or like boxes to fill it with things since I don't have a cabinet. Like I said, this is the other teachers, they're going to take this and remove it. So this is gonna be my only storage. <laughs> so I'm thinking of just putting it underneath here. This is what I did at my um, first school. I'm just curious if it's gonna fit now. It seems a little bit lower than normal. So if it doesn't fit, we're gonna to have to figure it out. But this is my desk. It is very loud, so it needs some WD-40. That's not even the loud one, you guys. It's this one. So loud. So I'm gonna get some WD-40 and fix that up and make it all nice and new. So needless to say, I have a lot of work that I need to do to get this classroom up to shape and just looking good. So I brought a lot of my like material things yesterday. Today I have a little bit of decorations that I brought. I bought a bookcase and then a box of little mini crates. Um, so slowly but surely I'm bringing stuff over. I'm teaching summer school right now at my other school. So after school, I just come to this one and drop everything off. So it's a little bit easier, a little bit nicer. I didn't expect to have like full access to my classroom. So I came and I didn't have to like check in or anything. I could just come and unlock the doors and just come on in. Um, so it's really nice to have the opportunity to just come whenever I need to, to drop things off and then to just decorate and put things together. But right now I'm just dropping things off. I am going to be decorating more, but honestly, it's just so overwhelming. Like, look at all the desks. Where do I put them? How do I arrange them? I was thinking of just having like some pushed up against the wall over here, and then those pushed up against the wall over there so that there's a walkway, and then there will be like rows, but I don't know. I'll have to see. But once this is out, I feel like I'll have a lot more space up here, a lot more room, and that will get rid of a lot of that kind of anxiety I guess and then yeah but this is what my classroom looks like you guys it's so exciting and everyone here is so nice to me so so nice that's kind of nice to have a stool here um but yeah I have to figure out what I'm going to do with all this I might just have a table here pushed up and then make it like an L like I did at my first classroom but yeah, this is what it looks like. Mm, how exciting, right? 
If you have ideas on what to do with the desks, let me know because this is a generally like a small classroom compared to the one I have. Um, and there's more desks, more students per class at this school. At my school, we have about 25 on our roster, maybe 30 on our roster, and then 15 to 20 will show up. So this one has 36 on each roster and they all show up. So kind of figuring it out. But if you have any ideas on how to best work a small classroom with large class sizes, please let me know in the comments. I would appreciate that. But this TV, it's gonna be in the front of the room, I'm assuming. And then when I'm not using it, I'll just kind of push it up against the side over here. So I'll have the desks here, I guess, I don't know. But it's on wheels. We, I don't think we can mount it on the wall, which would be really cool if I could just put it right there. But it's so big, you guys. I don't even think it'll fit right there. But anyways, this is what it looks like. I'm so excited, I cannot wait. But yeah, so I've had, this is my second day of just bringing stuff in, and when I came here yesterday, honestly, you guys, I was so lost. My school I'm at now is small. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the school I'm at now is small. We have about 350 students normally. This school, we have 2,200 students, which means not only are the classes full of desks, which is nice, but... It's a big school, <laughs> like it's a big school. And when I got here, I could not find the main office. I had to find the main office and like check in and get my key and everything and meet the office manager. And I couldn't find it. And the um, main office is in like the middle of the school and all the gates were locked and I didn't even know where I was going. I asked two students that I like walked by two separate times, two separate students, um, hey, can you help me like find the main office? I don't know where I'm going. And I swear I circled this school like twice, <laughs> like circled the whole school twice to try and just figure out how to get in. And I asked the kids, can you like give me directions? Can you help me? I don't know what I'm doing. And they're like, oh, I, I don't know. I'm like, you don't know where the main office is? Like, don't you go here? And they're like, yeah, like, okay, thanks. <laughs> so they were not, they were not very helpful. So I'm just assuming that like they were freshmen and they're here for sports, which they were dressed up in sports. I'm like, okay, so you're just starting sports early. You aren't actually a student here quite yet. But I found another student who was very tall and I just followed him <laughs> and he went through a door and I asked him, hey, can you help me? He's like, yeah, go down this um, hallway and it'll be that one in the middle. So I found the office. Everyone was so nice. The principal gave me a tour and I'm here early, by the way. Our school, uh, like school year doesn't start until like early August, like August 8th or something. And I'm here, it's already July, like, so I'm here super early. I asked to come here just to drop my stuff off and get it out of my house because my house is so full. But this is my classroom. I'm so excited. It's going to be so, I don't even know how to describe it, like boho, neutral, modern, and it's not going to be rainbow, which is so hard for me because a lot of my stuff is rainbow, so... I'm just kind of figuring it out and we're gonna see how everything goes but I just wanted to take you along and show you this little sneak peek of my classroom so you can get an idea of what it looks like too because I know you guys love these but I am going to be spending honestly let's see summer schools over next Thursday so I'm gonna be spending about a week maybe a little bit more coming back and forth and just decorating and getting this thing as nice as possible and just put together as much as possible so that when I do start that first day back, I have a lot of stuff already done, a lot of stress off my shoulders that I won't have to deal with. But when I do get a cabinet in December, it's going to look like this and it's really nice. It's really exciting. But yeah, anyways, that's what it looks like. Be wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely We could be gazing at the stars But now it feels just like I wandered off into a room And closed the door behind me Alright you guys, I emptied out the wagon And my poor bookcase would not fit underneath here It's too tall, so I can't I have actually a lot of them. I was gonna line them up underneath, but this is too short and the bookcase is too tall. So the bookcase is as tall. So that's not gonna work. So instead I figured just 
leave it there <laughs> but this is all my stuff um if you watched my haul video you know my theme is like a boho neutral modern type of look i don't know i got a lot of stuff from hobby lobby if you haven't seen that video i'll link it for you right up here so you can click on that um but yeah there's no storage and it's so sad, but I'm going to have to see what I can do to make it work. So I really want to take this table, I think, and put the table over here. So that I have like a table space to stack everything. Or maybe take another one of these standing tables and put it right there. But honestly, I don't know. I'm a little bit overwhelmed. But I got this doormat for the front of my door. So when kids walk in, it says... This is our happy place. However, something that I learned that this school is different than my other one because the doors here open inward. So I can't put a doormat here because it'll the door will push it out of the way. And I don't want to leave it outside. That would make me sad. <laughs> you know, I don't want to leave it outside. Anything can happen to it. So this one opens inward, whereas my other school, all the doors open outward. So I might have to just return that doormat, but it would have been so cute right there. But yeah, this is what my classroom looks like. Very overwhelming, but very exciting. Definitely not rainbow. I want to kind of do the Christmas lights again, but I just don't know if we're allowed to. Um, the school I was at, like they never said anything, but since the school, like, I don't know. I just don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> so I'm going to ask and see. But again, if you guys have any ideas of what to do with all these desks, let me know. It's just so overwhelming that I just, I feel like I can't even decorate until I figure out the desk situation and until I get all of, all this stuff kind of leaves from the other teacher. So that's what it looks like. How exciting. Mm -hmm. I never gave the key to you Even though I wanted to I should be trying something new But now my body's sick I'm tired of dwelling in the dark It's just that my heart can't take it You guys, this TV is so big It's so big And it's so hard to move Because I'm so weak <laughs> I don't know where I want to put it. I don't want it to block my whiteboard because I use the whiteboard so much in my lessons. And look at how big it is. I'm so excited. But I'm thinking of just pushing this out and then just have this up against the wall here. We'll have to see. But I'm so excited. What it cost me when I let you go. I feel alone. And I'm just singing. Mm, mm, mm. It should have been you. Another time, another place, I just know mm -hmm. It could have been you What a crime and what a shame to let go mm -hmm. Sometimes So I got these like Tupperware things And there's actually one more that I have at home And this is just where I'm storing all of the things that I use every day Kind of like in addition to my desk so i actually had all of these out in my other classroom if you remember but since it's so small in here i feel like we just won't have a lot of space to just have a section to grab things but in case we do i can always pull them out but for now i do have them just in here but everything's in here so yep got two in there this is some random stuff that I have to organize. I have a random thing of lead. I don't use lead pencils, but I know students do, so I just keep it around. All of my staples that just got mixed up, a couple of rubber bands, and then all of my rainbow magnets, which I'm thinking I should spray paint them gold or something, but oh well. <laughs> 